you mentioned Declan Rice there. Mm. I mean, in your opinion, how just how good is he? How if you were putting a valuation on him, which you know maybe will happen in the summer, people will be asking, what would you put on him? Well, I think West Ham are right to put 120 on him. It's always one of those you put a little bit more just so that when they bar to you down, I'll take 100 million for him, obviously. Um, but I think he's worth every penny. There's always that England player tax as well, isn't there? Yeah. They're always going to be more expensive. But with Declan, he, as I said before, leads by example. He's almost a complete player. He just needs to add goals to his game. But I think in a better team, I think he would probably do that. And when I say better team, I mean one of the really kind of top elite teams when you've got... Um, you know, world-class players around mm. you, it's going to help him to do that. He he wouldn't feel like he needs to be everywhere all over the pitch because he's fighting fires a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, so I think he's absolutely worth 100 million. Um, um, I don't think we'd take any less. I think that 120 is David Sullivan's way of saying, right, that's what we want. If you're prepared to come in perhaps a little bit lower, maybe we'd take it. But I've been expecting him to go for a couple of seasons. I think he wants mm. to do something with... Uh, West Ham, because I know he loves the club so much. He loves the fans. I think he'd love to leave, you know, lifting that that trophy. He mm. He's, he's going to be a legend anyway, but at least we could all sort of say thanks, Declan, and sort of leave with smiles on our faces Ooh, and tears in our eyes. Yeah. I'll be surprised if he's still mm. there. Even if we w win the conference. Yeah, I think, I, think, still I think it's time. I think it's time to do the right thing by by the player. Um, you could say possibly the same thing with Harry Kane, being a great servant to to their football clubs. Um, and it's right to just let them move on and mm. progress their careers. You know, they're still at their peak. Um, and for me, Declan can play in some of the best teams in the world mm. as the number six, Casemiro role, Rodri role. I think behind them two players, I think he's next in line. I think he's ahead of Thomas Partey, who plays for Arsenal, heavily linked with Arsenal. Mm. I think that would be a perfect move for him. I think he really could make the difference. And he will add goals. You know, we see Rodri chips in with goals, Casemiro chips in with goals. Declan does, but he doesn't get that many chances. He doesn't get the chances because he's occupied doing defensive stuff. Mm. When, once the game's won, like Casemiro... Has a little foray forward, doesn't he? And Rodri, you see, you know, they take the shackles off but at the end when the game's run. One, I think Declan were were have that luxury if he went to a to a club or a challenge him for for titles. Listen, West Ham's been great for Declan Rice. He's, don't forget this boy's released from Chelsea, so they give him a leg up, and they've developed him, and he's done brilliantly. Mm. But I think he's paid him back now, Definitely. and I don't think anyone, and I know the West Ham fans. I won't begrudge him a move. You know, I think that the, the boy has, has wore his heart on his sleeve every time he's pulled the shirt on and he's played. He's almost like he's come from the stands down to the pitch and it's exactly how them guys would perform and give everything. He leaves nothing on the pitch and I think now is possibly the time. If he if he wants to leave, um, and, he, and, he, and he, I think if he men mentions it to the, to the hierarchy there, I think they would do the right thing by him, but they, it would cost a lot of money because... Mm. That's what he's worth. Well, he's, he's already said he wants Champions League football and that's obviously not going to happen with West Ham this season. And I think he does deserve it. Like you say, he gives everything. You saw him with that fan at the end oh, of the, so nice. the match. It was unbelievable. And that's not something for the cameras. That's actually how he is. Mm. He's got a great character. He's a great guy. He deserves to, to go to the next level. And you mentioned Harry Kane. He probably looks at Harry Kane and thinks, I don't want that to be me when I'm, you know, late 20s and ha not having won anything. No dig intended, Spurs mm. fans, sorry. But it's true, you know, when you are that good a player, you should be uh, you should be winning silverware and I think he deserves mm. to, so. Do you think Do you think that would be the most likely destination for all? I've heard whispers that Arteta would really like him there and I think, like Tim says, I think he would slot in perfectly. He's, he's already, you know, a well-rounded player. Looks like Granite Jack is going to move on. Mm. You know, he's coming towards the end uh, now of his contract. He's 30 years of age. I think they need to replace. And I think Declan's a perfect person to, to slot into that role and improve it. 